Good day. Today, we will discuss the topic, tapping and trading. Our module objectives. After the completion of this module, students should be able to, number one, explain the tapping process. Second, identify the tap types. Third, explain the tapping. And last is the use of the tapping tools to create a tap. Introduction. One of the most effective ways to fasten two or more components is through the use of screws or bolts secured in properly threaded holes. So this method of fastening is more robust than other fastening methods, allowing repeated assembly and dismantling via simple screwing and screwing of the screw. So we have uh, in the right side some example of screws and bolts, we have nuts and other applications and so on, 3D rods and studs. Tapping. So by definition, this is the process of producing threads in a metal using certain tools. So here in the right side, we have an example of tapping and the threading part. Let's go now to hand trading safety. Number one, chips produced by hand trading are sharp and should be cleaned by using a brush or piece of cloth. Do not use compressed air to remove the metal chips. Next is newly cut external threads are very sharp. Again, use a sharp or cloth to clean them. Wash your hands after using cutting fluids or oil. Have cut treated by a qualified person. And be sure the die is clamped firmly in the die stock. If not, they can fall from the holder and can cause injury. Broken top have very sharp edges and are very dangerous. And extra care should be taken in dealing with broken taps. Trade standard. So there are many types of trades used in different applications. The most frequently used is the ISO standard that is shown in the figure. So here in the left side, we have uh, the nomenclature of the thread. So we can see here the crest here, the F. And we also have the D, the thread depth, and the pitch here so on the right side we can see the uh, internal threads and external threads with the pitch diameter here so the threads with matching pitch diameter so with equal pitch also thread with matching minor diameter here so let's continue our thread standards so in naming threads we have here an example of metric and screw threads and in the right side is the nomenclature so for ISO specify metric for example we have M16 by 2 the M symbol means ISO metric designation so when you can find the thread starts with M it is a metric standard then the next is the 16 is the nominal, nominal diameter so it's the major diameter of the thread. Then the two here is the pitch. Okay, it's in, in M. And the next is the class of fit. Then the last is the class of fit of mating. So this is optional, the two, the 4H and the 5H. Then for American Unified Threads, example here is the 3-4-10 that's UNC. So, 3 fourth is the nominal, nominal diameter. Of course, this is in inches. So, you can measure the um, thread size outside diameter with this given. Then, the 10 is the TPI or the threads per inch. And UNC means unified course. And if it is fine, this will be changed to UNF. Okay, and 2A, the class of fit, number 2 and a is thread type, external or internal, but again, 2A, the last two digits here is optional, okay? And this, take note that this is only standard screw. Then at the bottom uh, right side here, in this part, we have uh, additional uh, specs. For example, the given is, this is also in English, okay? English standards. We have 4 does 40 UNC 2A. So 4 is the size. 40 is the TPI. Okay. 
then uh, UNC again it could be fine or course and the uh, two is this is the tolerance fit so if with this number is two this is commercial and it's number three is aerospace okay. and A it is main and this is B this is female trade trend okay the tone which makes the tops turn around is called the top range. So notice how the three tops in the sets are very slightly different. Okay, the taper top is the one you would start with. It is slightly more pointed to give a gradual easier, easier start. Then next is you would finish this with the plug type. So this would allow you to get the thread right down to the bottom of the hole. Then the intermediate top would go second. So we have an example here how we tap and this is there is an example of set of taps and die and you can see the taper die, the range top and the long top. Top types. So a set of standard hand taps is made of a taper, plug and bottoming taper. So this is how is the uh, process. Number one is we use the taper for starting the thread. The next is we will use the plug top for continuing thread after taper top has cut into the hole. And the last is the bottoming top for continuing threads to bottom of a blind hole. So guys, uh, please make sure that you will follow the step-by-step -step procedure. We cannot use directly the bottoming top. Uh, the reason is that is uh, this is for finishing okay we need to start from uh, the taper top for starting the thread so top types again the threads are started with a taper top okay? this is the procedure the okay, next is then the plug top is used after the taper has cut the threads and then finally we use the bottom top it is necessary also to use the full set of tops only when a blind hole is to be made. The drill used to make the hole prior to tapping is called the top drill. Theoretically, it should be equal in diameter to the minor diameter of the screw that will be fitted into the top hole. So, table 1 shows below the relationship between the thread, normal size, diameter, and its proper top drill. So in table 1, you can see for example, M3 by 0.5. So M3 means this is a metric and with a 3 mm uh, nominal diameter. Then 0.5 is the pitch. So top drill here is 2.5. We will not use 3 mm because it will cut all the uh, threaded part. Okay, So we need to maintain the uh, standard which is 2.5. Same with M4. We will use the less uh, size exactly exact size is the 3.3 for m5.8 we have 4.2 m6 so i can use 5 top drill so as you can observe from the pitch uh, we have can use a formula here the top drill is equals to normal size minus the thread pitch so as you can observe for example m5 by 0.8 so we have a pitch of 0.8, so 5 minus 0.8 is equal to 4.2, so meaning we can use now the top drain of 4.2. For example, for M6, M6 we have the 1 pitch, 1 mm, so M6 or 6 mm minus 5 is equal to uh, M6, sorry, M6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Top range. So there are two types of top ranges that are available. So the, the selection of top range depends on the top size. So for number one, the T-handle top range is used with all small tops. So if we are in working with small uh, specs of thread, so we can use this one. The other one is the hand top range which is used with large tops. So again, it depends on the size. Care in topping. Number one, use the correct size top drill. So in our previous slides, uh, we said that the top drill is smaller compared to our specs. For example, we use M6 
by 1 pitch so we will use the 5 mm drill we can get with the formula the 6 minus 1 at 1 pitch okay. the next is to use a sharp tap and apply sufficient quantities of cutting fluids so this one to reduce the friction between the cutting tools and our workpiece the next is that start the taper top square with the work. Next is do not force the top to cut. Okay, so just work with it slowly. And next is avoid running a top on the bottom of blind hole and continue to apply pressure. So this can cause damage to our thread. The next is remove bars on the top hole while with a smooth fire. Okay, don't use your hands. It's going to cause injury. Okay. Drill materials. So the two most common types are number one, the high speed steel drill. So this is of course low cost. Second is the carbide tip drills. So this is uh, of course uh, high in cost, but this is used in high production and in CNC machine. So for mass production. Then you also have other types, like solid carbide drill, thin coated drills, carbide coated muscle drill drills, parabolic drills, split point drill for special application. Tool holding devices. So the different methods used for holding drill in a drill spindle are number one, by directly fitting in the spindle hole. Second is by using drill sleeve. Third is by using drill socket. Another one is by using drill chuck. Okay, drilling operations uh, can be performed in the drilling machines are can perform drilling, reaming, boring, counter boring, counter sinking, and tapping. Hand tapping procedure. Number one, select drill size from chart. So as explained earlier, uh, we have a standard formula to get that and table okay second if necessary add chamfer to the hole before tapping so the purpose for this one is to make the screw uh, enter the hole smoothly because this will become a guide then next is get the top guide fourth is tap the block okay slowly then number five is complete the tap for our tapping and trading activity today, so this is the instruction number one, download the drill size chart for both metric and English unit. The second is prepare a hand tapping procedure for M6 by 1 thread. Of course, your solution should be hand written. Thank you for watching.